What's going on, everyone? Last City Slum here, back with another weekly reset. And I'll be continuing with the dawning video after this. But first off, I want to let you guys know that it's double nightfall XP this week. And uh, make sure you get those in and, and get your double XP. Also, on top of that, so there's going to be a new stasis exotic ship and a new stasis sword. Now, the stasis sword. It, it is a stasis sword. It, it's it's going to be the first one of its kind for dawning. And uh, I probably said stasis ship didn't mean it, but exotic, exotic ship um, here for the dawning. So uh, we will check out what's here this week in the store. And then I think with Banshee and Ada one. And then we will run over to Ava just to see what she's got to get you started. And then I will be posting a video for recipes and everything else a little bit later. So you guys tune in for that. So let's get down to it. So you can see all the snow. It's pretty nice and festive. There's Grandma Levante. All right, so let's go straight into the store and see what's up. Step on up. Take a look. Okay, so. See the new dawning armor set Don't know where my <clears throat> for the hunter for this season. Wow, this thing likes take, and this is on a PS5, folks. I am hardwired in. <laughs> my internet connectivity is 40 second, so I don't 400 megs a second, so I don't understand why Bungie loves Anything doing this crap. If it's Bungie, if it's PlayStation, if it's whatever, but check that out. Look at the shininess, man. I I, <laughs> I hate it, but I love it. You know what I mean? Only reason I hate it is because I'm gonna have probably get all three of these. I uh, I definitely like the way that looks. And it's not a super flashy though. So I mean, you got, you gotta kind of be into that. But I definitely like the smoothest. And this is probably one of my. Favorite look since the Dawning Armors came out. I think it's probably my favorite one. <clears throat> All right, so let's go. Don't forget, Don't go into the uh, store and pick up your uh, 30th anniversary gift once a week, every week. Get you 700 bright dust. So we have Mic Drop. Boom. That one runs for 700 silver. We have the Ugg Sponge Shell. <laughs> which is adorable in an ugly Christmas sweater. I love that. That's, that's pretty cool, man. We have the Anarchy, the Compliance Ornament, for 700. We have Slapshot Finisher. Let's see that again. Nah, not a big fan of that one. Now, am I assuming... Because we can go down here, and I'm assuming you can buy them both, my fault, for either silver or for bright dust. But that might be... There we go, yes. So you can get it for 6,000 bright dust or 1,500 silver. Let's go ahead and go back up. So we have Justified Cobalt Shader, which is not a bad looking shader. I don't have it, so I'm definitely going to be picking it up. And we have piled high transmat effect. Sell the gifts. Looking for anything. Just bust it out. Of them. That one runs for 450. And then we have for 700 ski walk. I could do that for hours and just walk away. <laughs> Cross EDZ Symphony. Wow, that uh. <laughs> that is probably another one of my favorite um, sparrows to come out of the seasons. Like, uh, for for dawning, for the Christmas season, yeah. I mean, I love the lights. And it's the first time they've done that in a minute. That's, to me, I love that. That is awesome. I'll definitely be picking that up at some point. We're down to the Bright Dust store. 
So we have Tangled Projection for 1500 Bright Dust. That's some Christmas lights for the uh, for the ghost. God, I do not want to deal with those this season. Get new lights every season. Donate the old ones. <laughs> Frostbone weapon ornament for the Black Talon sword. We have the Silver Wing Kestrel. Our inventory is stocked, so no that one's going to run you two thousand for twenty five hundred. You get the Chiller Winter. It's a Sparrow, I think, from a couple seasons ago. Or a couple years ago, sorry. Muffled shell. Like it's a little cold. Got his little reindeer ear muffs on. To keep him warm. Graceful spin. Looking for anything. And that thing is in the store for seven hundred. And we have a snowball fight. Now pack it up. What you can do in the tower right now. So let you know that happens every year, man, but <laughs> normally people standing in their vaults or just standing around doing things like I'm doing, get pelted and get frozen a lot. So oh, we have the sweet entrance. Oh, that does make my sweet tooth go crazy. Okay, that's 450. For another 450, you can have Howling Blizzard. Or Ice Ball effects. We'll probably get another that with Stasis. It's easy. Um, Dawning Celebration Shader. Eververse has the goods. Then we have Dawning Tranquility. That's not a bad look for that, actually. We have Resilient Laurel. And these are all 300, I think. Yep, yep. The shaders are all 300. This is Dawning Festiveness. No hurry. I like how it gives the, the hoodie a different texture altogether. Okay, so we will run over here. And we will see what Banshee's got for this week. And then, like I said, I will be posting a video later to to share with you guys all the all the recipes that I have. Or I think if the oven is here, if we have it, I might be able to just go through and show you guys in this so you can take them down as you want. So we have Scout Rifle, Fusion Rifle, Linear Fusion, Solar Weapon. I know these change, but this is what he has right now. So he has... Freehand Grip, Rampage Spec, and for the weapons, he has Cold Denial with Swashbuckler, Pulse Monitor, Alloy Mag, Armor Piercing Rounds, Corkscrew, Fluted Barrel with his Stability Masterwork. Then we have the Seventh Seraph Carbine, which is a not terribly slow, but it's a slower firing um, AOR. Um, it hits hard, though. You know, I just wish there were more rounds in the mag. This one has moving target, increased movement speed, and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights. Four times the charm. Rapidly landing precision hits will return two rounds of the mag. Now, ricochet rounds. I love them. Light mag, full bore, small bore, with a range masterwork. Now, this range is already ridiculously high. So you throw the range masterwork on there. It's going to be... If you look at the edge of the circle, it's probably going to be right about there. You know what I mean? Let me get in there. There you go. So that's that's not going to be bad. Keep the ricochet rounds on. You know, you can change this right here, put the small bore, and then masterwork, and your range will be back at the normal, which would be great. Um, so, I mean, if you don't have one of these, and you can also use these with the uh, war mine. So if you don't have one of these, I would say... Go ahead and pick them up. If you're looking for an AR, uh, I guess that's more slow firing. But I, I, I do enjoy it. I have one masterwork in my in my vault right now. I used on my Warlock for the longest time. So, um, The number. An AR at 450. It's the same speed as the uh, 7 Seraph we just saw. Sympathetic Arsenal. Reloading after a final blow. Also reloads stowed weapons. Uh, threat detector. Increased reload, stability, and handling when enemies are in close proximity. Um, appended mag, AP rounds, corkscrew rifling, extended barrel, and handling masterwork. This one's not a bad AR. I do not particularly like these two perks together, but that's just me. Then we have the decide. One-two punch, grave robber, melee final blows, reload this weapon's magazine from reserves. 
a pended mag, accurized round, smooth bore, barrel shroud, and handling masterwork. Then we have Behringer's Memory with Rampage, Underdog. And Underdog is the perk that gains a boost to reload speed as your health gets lower. We have Augmented Drum. We have Sticky Grenades. Grenades fired from this weapon attach on impact and detonate when enemies are in proximity. Countermass and Volatile Launch with the Blast Radius Masterwork. We have Temptation's Hook, Whirlwind Blade, Energy Transfer, Balance Guard, Swordmaster's Guard, Honed Edge, Hungry Edge, Tempered Edge with an Impact Masterwork. Now, I'm going to run down to Ada. We're going to fast travel down there real quick. And uh, we'll see what Ada 1's got in stock for her armor mods today. Now, remember, these change daily. Check these daily. Even if you don't want to get on and play Destiny, man, get on and check Banshee and Ada 1's mods. Make sure you're doing their bounties or Banshee's bounties to make sure you got enough mod components. But there's going to be some mods come up at weird times, man. The one day you don't want to get on and look. Like, uh, Radiant Light was on last week, and I mean, I didn't get in and check that, that day to tell my friends and tell you guys about it, Welcome. and, uh, I was really upset about that. Welcome back. So here we have Sniper Rifle Reserves, stacks on stacks. Gain an extra stack of charge of life for every stack you gain. Now, this one is good, because you're maxed out of five, so if you pick up two, three, you're good. You know what I mean? It takes 10 out of recovery, but if you got your recovery up to 110, then you're great. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, you get charged with light super fast. I was talking to uh, was talking to a buddy of mine the other day, and he was telling me that he runs he runs the, all different classes on there because I, I got used to running all arc and one solar, you know, so I could get the good solar mods because there's a couple of them for this that give you two extra two extra stacks and another stack. But he said he ran this as well, and it got me thinking that that might be something I need to do. Um, for the Hunter, we had the, I'm not even going to look at the stats because they're horrible, but the Icarus Drifter Grips, the Icarus Drifter Set, which is going to be good. But I would say definitely pick this up, Stacks on Stacks, Sniper Rifle Reserves. Um, you guys that don't have a whole lot of mods, man, get in there and pick those up. Get your Banshee Bounties knocked out on all three characters, man, and pick up as many mods as you can. So that way, when you're going into certain events and doing certain things with other people, man, you won't be like, "Oh, I don't have that one." You know, it's a great way to 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 stockpile your stuff, man. All right, let's see what Grandma Levante has. Welcome to the dawn, Guardian. At this time of the year, the city joins together to celebrate and give thanks for all we have. And what's a celebration without some fresh baked treats? Now I can't do this myself, so I'm going to lend you my holiday oven, as always. Oh, I can't wait to see what you come up with. I think you should begin by baking a gift for our dear Commander Zavala. Of course. So there's the oven. Dawning Oven 2.0. Or 2.1. Ava's made some mods to the Dawning Oven this year. You can now find all of the recipe information for each cookie in the recipe section of the oven, even if you haven't yet baked that cookie. The description for each ingredient can now clearly communicate its source. Wow, this makes my job so much easier now I don't have to do a recipe video for you guys. So there's that. We have the moments of triumph. Triumph seal. The quest. And she doesn't have bounties. Or she might once I get started with this. So, so let's go ahead and take a look. And see if it's as nice as they say. Let's go in. Okay, well, of course. But I want all the other recipes. Look at it. Wait, wait, what? requires all recipes discovered okay so we go in here we got you eat the cane you got that that's it hmm we will see so I wonder if it's gonna make you have to oh thanks for the gift buddy let her know you received a gift. We'll go ahead and talk to her again. The dark can't last forever. Dawning spirit. There's the currency. So. Here we go. Here is the Zephyr sword. Um, it comes with cold steel. 
powered sword hits slow targets, which you would expect from a stasis sword. Energy transfer, guarding while receiving damage generates class ability energy. Balanced guard and honed edge with an impact masterwork. I just... It's not very beautiful. I mean, it, that tip just looks all sorts of crazy, but it is a stasis sword, man. I think it'll be all right. This is the Vapor Will Spin, which I wonder if they're going to... Nope, they didn't. Remember the one they did, like, last year when you had, like, you could change the ion trails of the engine on your on your ship? Uh, that was really cool how they were doing that. Okay, long water snowball upgrade. Okay, what is this? Receive a boon of friendship each day from Ava Levante. So we will acquire that. Okay. She claps her hands. Now if that'll go away. Dawning spirit upgrades. This dawning guardians can trade their dawning spirits to Ava Levante in the tower for powerful limited time upgrades. Included in these upgrades is the Boon of Friendship, a daily gift that allows you to pass on an assortment of dawning goodies to your fellow guardians whenever you complete a playlist activity. Once you have completed the appropriate dawning quest, you will unlock the ability to give a gift in return to Ava in exchange for more focus rewards. So, the Pigeon provides... Complete the quest the Lost Splicer on Europa. That's already done. Rewards. Got a new shader and got the sword. Uh, we're going to have to go talk to Saint 14. All right, what is this? It's a new shader and some more rewards. All right, collect daily boon. There is some boon right there. Boon of friendship. Now we're going to have bounties up here. Gifts delivered, and there's going to be some bright dust. So I would recommend to everybody to pick these up. You know what I mean? Um, I want to know what these are. Increases the duration of slow effects applied by snowballs. Huh. Are we going to be able to use them, like, just not in here, like, out in the map, which would be awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and pick all these up. I'm not even going to look, because I'll look after a while. So, there is Zavala. i tell you what we're going to do. We are going to stop here. I'm going to put out the, the weekly reset video, and then I will be back with another video on the continuing quest for this stuff. So, thank you guys for uh, for tuning in, and we'll hope to see you in the tower. You guys have a great one.